Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to another Digital Tuesday. Let's get into it. So as usual, I'm starting with the background and I am taking a lot of inspiration from the Ursula and Ariel pieces that I did for Digital Tuesday where they also have these like abstract type vibe to the background. I do really like it. I think it looks really cool. So I'm doing that again, but this time in blues because why not and then I'm just adding in where I want my Morgana sketch to be and the size of it and then I'm just doing the outlines as for usual I don't have a method to the color I choose for the outlines also I am still using the sketch app on a Samsung tablet And then I do just go around outlining everything. I wouldn't say I'm very precious about lines, especially not when it comes to line art. They don't have to connect. I just... I do them. There's no specific method or anything to it they just get done and I really like when they don't connect I don't know it just gives the piece a different feel if you want to see more processes like this please don't forget to like and subscribe So I did start recording only on the 17th piece of 52, so if you'd like to see the previous 16, you can find them on Instagram, the link is in the description box below, and if you want to see the first two Digital Tuesdays, they are also on this channel, hopefully by now I've created a playlist for them. <laughs> And now I'm just adding in like the solid colors. I did set my line art layer to multiply because it just it recolors the line art depending on what you put under it. So I did set my line art layer to that. And I'm actually proud that I learned that trick because I used to go around coloring each individual line. <laughs> I was such a noob. And I did add some shading also, but I always add shading to a different layer, to the line art layer. And then I combine the two layers and then set it to multiply. Just because I found that adding a line art, adding shading to the line art layer before you start adding in the like solid colors makes it a whole lot easier to sort of kind of render later on I don't know if you would call what I do rendering that's why I say sort of kind of render but yeah And because I don't know how to use clipping masks yet, I always have to clean up. And I've tried learning to use clipping masks. I just think maybe I am learning from the wrong people. Because like I've tried to follow tutorials and I've done exactly as the tutorial people have said and it hasn't worked. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I'm the problem. If anybody has advice, please do let me know. 
in the comments below because I really need help like I would love to use clipping masks I think it would make this process so much easier like the coloring process so much easier but I don't know how to do it and I've tried to learn and it's not working I'm just adding in all the flat colors and tidying up so yeah just adding in more solid colors obviously every color gets its own layer just so that later on when I want to add in more shading I just lock each layer and add shading to each individual layer instead of having to stress about oh I don't want it here I want it there but it's here now because I didn't lock the layer no stress about that none whatsoever and I did totally play around with the settings for the fin and that little fleshy bit that sticks out at the waist you'll see how I play around with both of them trying to get them to be transparent originally I was like no scales on her tail why do you want to put scales on her tail and then I put scales on her tail I did lighten the opacity of the layer of her tail and then I didn't like it so I made it dark again and then you can see that when you take a, when you add the background back in it makes like a funny color on her tail so I do like make the bottom layer of her tail white it's more opaque adding some texture to her tail as you can see I'm adding the scale and I really like how this piece turned out I think the contrast between the blue of the background and this like pinkish, peachish red color of her tail really does make a difference and it really does like stand out. Fixing up the outlines of her hair. Also, I don't know if you have noticed, but like her skin tone and her hair are very similar. Like they're very close. She's got these purple undertones, but it's not very distinct colors. It could be one color if you looked fast enough. And then I'm just adding in more shading. Adding a little blue color to her, like over her everything so she looks like she's part of the background and not just stuck over it. Adding in a few highlights, lightening the highlights by changing the opacity of the layer. Adding in my name, and there you have it. Thank you for joining me for this rather short <laughs> Digital Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!